This is a book review of The Dynamite Art of Lucio Pario. My apologies if I said his name wrong. It's uh, from Dynamite, just came out this year. It's 200 pages in colour, most predominantly in colour, anyway, some black and white at the back. And it covers a whole load of things like Vampirella, Red Sonja, Vegethoris, etc. I run through, let's see, just quickly show you there so you can just see how it there. And now it's got an introduction, etc. And it's edited by Joseph Ryband and collection designed by Kathleen Hurd. Got table of contents, forward, etc. Introduction, and then into the actual comic. Now I can't show many of the pages because some of them are pretty. Mm, but there's some, it's just very dramatic art all the way through. Absolutely. If you're a fan of his work, I am certain you will love this book. Absolutely. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, I'm not saying that I am a super fan of this style of art. I mean, I love it. But I'm, it's not something immediately, I, there's certain styles of artwork that I like more than this. But it's still pretty amazing. And very dramatic, some of these pictures. Obviously, it just goes through. And it's in order as well. So you've got the uh, like Vampirella Volume 7. You've got Vampirella 5 there. So it is in order as it runs through. Obviously, there's a bit of a crossover one here. Vampirella and Red Sonja. Now, you've got a very dramatic red one. Look at that. that is now, this would be brilliant as a poster book. Some of these Red Sonja post poster book would be superb. Deja Thoris poster book would be superb. Got some very dramatic shots there of Queen. Oh, and that one as well. It got the beautiful, uh, superb Queen Sonja one. And I'm just going to bring over the. Of course, this as well. Absolutely thoroughly enjoyable Queen Sonja. This is Omnibus, uh, Volume One. Okay. There's no. Is there a Volume Two? I haven't seen a Volume Two yet. However, continue on with this thing. Some dramatic, dramatic. Beautiful. Now, I'm not certain if some of these have been reprinted in other books. So maybe there's like the Art of Queen Sonja. I'm not certain if they've been cut. I certainly probably have. I can't say. You've got some very dramatic pictures here. And like many of them have come out fairly recently. So it's possible that quite a lot of them haven't even been included in those books because, of course, those books came out quite a few years ago. So I assume that a lot of this is, is new. Some very dramatic colour as well. Just love the way you get, occasionally get sort of grey, steely look. Absolutely beautiful. And then also got another introduction. There you've got introduction and sections. So you've got jungles of earth to the wastes of Basun. Oh, good old, uh, all the characters. Again, some of them I can't really, I mean, it's it's a bit to, to show them. I mean, they're not obviously nude completely, but they're pretty good in that way. Oh. Of course, let's be fair and show briefly. Uh, I can say Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle. Actually, before I go, put my foot in and say it was actually uh, John Carter. Very similarity sometimes when you see some of these people. We've got here the Waste of Barsoom. You look at that and you think, oh, Tarzan. It is actually Lord of the Jungle, so is Tarzan. Isn't there any. Oh, that's strange. There must be a John Carter. I don't know. Can't see one. Maybe it's a bit earlier in the book. Anyway, Zombies, Pirates and Chaos. <laughs> That's a pretty good one as well. We've got this uh, uh, the famous photo that came out with the, the sailor and uh, the woman in his arms and obviously done as a zombie. Mm, yeah. Lovely pirate one there. He's got lots of pirate ones. And you've also got some, a brilliant one there with the zombie. And... Uh, Alfred Hitchcock, that's really odd. Also got Chaos one there. Oh, a lovely, uh, I love that one. The Evil Ernie, you've got Evil Ernie, sort of like uh, doing as a Michelangelo uh, ceiling. Absolutely superb. Also you've got some sketches at the back, absolutely stunning black and white ones in the back. Beautiful sketches there. And then weirdly a reprinted one because that, was included elsewhere, I think. Seen that. So, most odd, putting that bit in the back. But I suppose because it shows her back, that's the back of the book. Maybe that's the uh, joke on that. However, I really love this book. I mean, I love all art books, and I think Dynamite bring out some really genuinely good ones. So, well, hopefully, they'll be bringing out many, many more volumes 
of their art books. Now, maybe not all as gruesome as this one, because there's a lot of gruesome in there. But of course, it's Halloween in the next couple of days, so I guess it's a good time to bring out a brilliant sort of horror illustration book. So uh, I thoroughly enjoyed this book. It's a great little, uh, I wouldn't say read, but it's uh, visually quite stunning. But again, maybe they brought a poster book out as well. Even better, you could put posters up on the wall. So, dynamic. Uh, Dynamite Art, I was going to say dynamic, Dynamite Art of Lucio Pario.